close your eyes and take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. And if long breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't, you can change. Shorter breathing, shallower, faster, slower, heavier, lighter. Get in touch with the body's breath needs right now. If you pay attention to the body, then it'll become a good place for you to stay. You take care of it, it'll take care of you. It's like moving into a house. When you first move in, it's not all that comfortable. The heater may not be working properly, and the, there may be dirt all over the place and animals in the walls. You've got to clean things out. And it takes some time, and sometimes people get discouraged with all that work that goes into getting a house, making it livable. But if you don't do the work, then the house is never really going to be a home. It's the same with the breath. You will take some time to learn how to deal with the breath energy in the body. Learn when you're forcing it too much, when you're not forcing it enough. When the way you breathe builds pressure in your head or builds pressure in your chest, you've got to figure out a way to deal with that too. But as you do this work, you find that more and more the body becomes a really good place to stay, a place where you can, can feel at home. Because the mind doesn't have a home, then it's out wandering around. In the meantime, the body gets left so that animals can move back in and dry rot can set in. All kinds of stuff can happen to a house that's not being looked after. If you live in the house and look after it, okay, then it becomes a good place to stay. I mean, it's a little bit of maintenance work every now and then, but otherwise it's more than repays the work, the effort to get the mind to settle down right here and to make the body and the breath a livable place to stay. That way when the mind needs to go out, it, goes, it knows why it's going out. And then you find that in your, in your house you can actually have a, you can have your internet connection, you can have your television. In other words, you stay in the house, but you still know about the world outside. You can inhabit your body. You don't have to send your awareness out so that it's totally outside of your body. You can stay in here and yet still know about the world outside. But you're coming from a position of strength. Strength in how you receive impressions from outside and strength in how you decide what to do. So you're not acting out of hunger. You're not acting out of thirst. You're not acting out of a feeling of being threatened. So the, the, your inner home here provides safety. It provides a good foundation for your life to be a lot more in order. So take the time and the effort and the interest that's going to be required to get to know the body well and to make it a, this house a home.